everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up so you guys today we are going to be talking about these top feminine energy fragrances for spring i wanted to bring y'all some options that you can wear for the springtime that really give off that classy feminine energy so all of these fragrances have like a perfumey note to them all of them smell very very feminine um very very luxe high-end perfume like just so during the spring you can really give off like bad feminine energy so if you guys are interested in seeing that then just keep on watching so i do have 10 fragrances here um unfortunately i'm not including any of the luxury line collection because i still have not gotten those in yet and i didn't purchase all of the scents anyway but i know that there's some in there that would definitely be included in this lineup so don't worry you guys my review for those fragrances are coming i also picked up brightest bloom the newer fragrances so those are coming so don't worry but we are going to start with one of the newer ones that was released that i just did a video about that i just talked about and that is diamond of the season of course i had to include this one as a spring feminine energy type of scent because when I did my review and my haul of this fragrance I told you guys that this one definitely gives feminine spring it's fruity but it has that like clean soapy quality from the white florals that just gives soft and pretty so this is definitely a fragrance that I had to include in this lineup I am really liking this scent I feel like there's a lot of peachy fragrances coming out like earlier in the year we were seeing a lot of cherry fragrances now I feel like we're seeing some peachy fragrances so this one is just all around good to me. I really enjoy it. And I also like the packaging. The packaging also gives feminine. It also gives luxe. It gives classy. So yeah, Diamond of the Season is definitely one that I wanted to include. Um, another new one that I wanted to include is Tropidelic. And this one I really, really like. So this one is definitely given perfumey. This one is definitely given feminine. So it says Irresistible Passion Flower, Ylang Ylang, and Misty Forest. I just knew that this one was going to smell super outdoorsy while staying in that beachy tropical realm. But something about this one is super pretty and perfumey. It's given tropical and exotic getaway, but definitely more perfumey, like more of a nighttime fragrance. So I did enjoy this one a lot, a lot. I feel like the Ylang Ylang definitely gives off that beachy kind of um, exotic tropical getaway vibe. And then the passion flower is probably like that sweetness, that perfuminess that you're getting in this. And then the misty rainforest, I feel like just ties it all together because it's definitely given like a clean factor. So I really, really enjoy this one. And I definitely think it smells different enough to Coco Paradise. I feel like this one, while it is perfumey and beachy, Coco Paradise gives coconut, obviously. So Tropidelic is definitely one that gives spring feminine energy for me. And then I have one from Victoria's Secret. So this one is Pure Seduction Soul. And I know this one screams summer, but I'm telling y'all for the hot weather for the springtime, this one is it. So it says orange mimosa and dewy pineapple. That citrus and that pineapple goes together so well. So this gives pure seduction for sure. It's like you can smell that underlying tone of pure seduction, which is always fruity. It smells like fruit punch, but I feel like it's definitely more of a citrusy take on pure seduction. So you have like that super, super syrupy, sweet pineapple, a little bit tart. And then you have like the orange mimosa that gives it that citrusy, sunshiny type of vibe. So this one is super, super good. Super, super nice. Definitely can see somebody wearing this one during the springtime with a really, really nice bathing suit with a really, really nice cover up and a big sun hat, glowing skin, just looking super, super pretty, hot weather ready. This one is super, super nice. And I feel like it definitely gives off crazy feminine energy just glowy goddess-like feminine energy so i wanted to include pure seduction soul in this lineup and then another one from victoria's secret and this is my last one from victoria's secret i'm throwing it back with this one this one is velvet petals la creme and the reason why i chose this one is because here recently i pulled out velvet petals so i had the original velvet petals lotion and then i was using velvet petals candy and it just made me go back into my collection and rediscover all of my velvet petals flinkers and this one has always been one of the softest, prettiest velvet petal flankers that I've had. So this one is Queen of the Night Flower in white sandalwood. For me, this one literally just smells like a creamy, softer, smoother version of Velvet Petals, if it can get any smoother because Velvet Petals has always been this really like silky soft, almond cream, glazed, floral fragrance. And I feel like with this one, something about it just gives softer and smoother, prettier, just literal soft era, soft girl, 
pink feminine energy that is what this one is giving so i wanted to pull this one out and throw it back i know some people still have this one in their collection so don't be mad at me for mentioning like an older discontinued fragrance but i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all this one is so good and like i said using my other velvet petals fragrances made me rediscover that one so that's why I like mentioning fragrances that are older in my collection because it can kind of like spark or reignite your drive to like go in your collection and use up other things or revisit things that you haven't used in a while. Okay, so moving on, Pure Wonder. This one is always, always, always a feminine classic perfumey luxe type of fragrance to pull out and use so this one is ice rose star jasmine warm white amber. It's just such a simplistic classy feminine fragrance. It smells clean, it smells delicate, it smells floral, it smells perfumey, it smells classy, it smells all of the above. Like this is just a nondescript, perfumey, feminine fragrance. Doesn't smell too much like anything, but it's really, really nice. It could be a nice signature fragrance, a nice easy to wear, throw on fragrance, a nice fragrance for work, a nice fragrance for running errands, a nice fragrance for getting dressed up. Like you really could use this one for a lot of different things. The versatility on this one is super nice. So Pure Wonder is definitely one that I wanted to mention. I still really, really enjoy this one and feel like since it can work for so, so many different occasions and it just smells like feminine and easy to wear, you can use this one for so many different things. So I wanted to mention that one. And then I'm going to mention another one that I talked about in one of my previous videos that I just love so much. So I included this one in my Easter spring candy light scents. And this one is Sun Ripened Raspberry. I love this fragrance so much. For hot weather, it just smells so super good to me. So this one is Sun Ripened Raspberries, Strawberry Leaves, and Sugar Crystals. Have no idea why they discontinued this one. This one is so sugary, sweet, but feminine and perfumey. Like it doesn't necessarily smell like raspberries that you would want to eat. But then again, it also gives off this very sweet, sugary candy type of vibe. But it's perfumey at the same time. And I feel like it's perfumey from the strawberry leaves as well as the raspberry. This one is just so super good. So super yummy. I always enjoy this one. And I feel like this is one of the better raspberry scents that we have because it smells mostly like raspberries. It smells mostly fruity and sweet. So I love this one and would definitely mention this one as a nice feminine fragrance. Okay, and then I had to pull this one out from earlier this year, Sweetheart Cherry. We all went crazy for this one. Sweetheart Cherry literally is that woman. I ain't gonna even say that girl. She is literally that woman because this is definitely in your like grown woman but still soft woman era so this one is wild cherry crushed pistachio and whipped vanilla so while this one gives like a tiny hint of sweet gourmand from that crushed pistachio and that vanilla this one also has that like perfumey essence that womanly essence and this one just smells really really nice sophisticated um but still sweet at the same time so i really enjoy sweetheart cherry and i definitely feel like this one gives all feminine energy for sure Cherry fragrances are sexy fragrances, but like I said, this one has the addition of that pistachio and that vanilla to kind of give it a gourmand feel, but this one is definitely giving feminine energy for sure. Another one that I haven't pulled out in a minute, this is Butterfly, but this one was so gorgeous. It's Raspberry Nectar, Iris Petals, and Airy Vanilla. So this one is feminine and fruity and sweet. I feel like it has enough of that airiness. It has enough of that perfumey quality to wear it balances out the sweetness. So it balances out that raspberry, but it's another really, really pretty fragrance like um, Sun Ripen Raspberry, where it just gives like feminine vibes. It just gives like girly, sweet, delicate, pretty, like legitimately pretty. So I can definitely enjoy this one for the springtime. Definitely gives off feminine energy. And then Sweet Petal Pound Cake. If you guys did not hear me ranting and raving about Sweet Petal Pound Cake, during the very, very beginning of spring, like end of winter, beginning of spring. This was my girl. Y'all can see how much of this one I use. I told y'all that the combo I did with Sweet Petal Pound Cake definitely gave me wifey vibes. It definitely gave me feminine, soft, pretty, womanly, all of those vibes. That is what this gave me. And I got so, so many compliments. And that's why I stopped using it because I just really didn't want to run through this fragrance. But this one definitely gives soft, sweet, feminine, wifey vibes, literally soft woman era vibes. So had to include this one. Sweet Petal Pound Cake is Candy Rose Raspberry Swirl Frosted Bun Cake. 
I feel like this one is a perfect balance of floral and soft sweetness. Literally perfection. So good. Really enjoyed this one. And then the very last fragrance that I want to show you guys for my top 10 feminine energy fragrances for spring is going to be Beautiful Day. And this is a classic. This is an older one. This is a throwback. I'm not sure if they still sell this one on the website. Like I, I really genuinely don't remember. But this one is Sunkissed Apple Sparkling Castles Wild Daisies Pink Peony Fresh Woods. This is another simplistic fragrance. This one is apple but it's like floral apple outdoorsy still has that clean feminine factor it's crisp it's fresh like this one is like when you're casually feminine so think of like a super super clean crisp white t-shirt some mom jeans some all white sneakers or some sandals a really nice luxurious handbag hair up so so nice that's what this one is. It's crisp, it's feminine, it's soft, and it's perfect for springtime. It literally gives like a fresh start, a new beginning, all of that. That's what Beautiful Day smells like to me. And so that's why I think that it is a great pick for like a feminine energy spring type of fragrance. So yeah, definitely really enjoy Beautiful Day. So that is it, you guys. Those are my 10 picks for feminine energy spring fragrances. I feel like all of these are really, really great picks. All of these are ones to revisit. Um, get in your collection and just reuse your scents that you haven't used for a while. Like I said, I will be doing um, a little haul with the things that I picked up from the $5.95 sale that include some of the luxury items. So just stay tuned for that one. I will be talking about those scents. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed it. If you're new, you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Fragrance and Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.